Today, I'm collecting every Bugatti that's ever existed in GTA 5. And to kick things off, I've arrived at a car meet in the middle of Sandy Shores, and one of these cars is the very first Bugatti. <laughs> Man, all of these look so nice. Look at those two. Getting some photos with it. Nice. Okay, so we're looking for a Bugatti. Oh, hey, Lamar, you're here. <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? All I know is that this car is gonna be expensive, because I don't think there's a single Bugatti worth less than a million dollars. Wait a minute. I think I found it, guys. Check it out. <laughs> Let me just take a little sneak around the side. That's definitely the Bugatti logo. This is crazy. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, I have found the very first Bugatti. That's the logo. I'm pretty sure this is a Bugatti Chiron 4x4 off-road. Can you believe this actually exists? This has to be the best car here. And it's all mine. Thanks, fellas. You're the best. <laughs> I'll just be leaving with this thing. Whoa, whoa, what are those? Speed bumps? Really? Come on. So this is just the first Bugatti of the video. And if you think this looks nice, you wait until you see the next one. Because we're getting every single one of them that exists, including a few of them, which literally only have one of a kind. And if you would like a Bugatti for yourself, press the subscribe button. Apparently, it gives you really good luck. Oh, no. I've taken the wrong lane back. Nah, not to worry. I guess <laughs> we'll just have to do a little bit of off-roading. I mean, that's what this car is meant for, right? Wow, it's actually really easy to drive. This is a beast. And the Spoiler is electronic. I like that. That's awesome. All right, take it down the hill, bring it to the drive, and that is our very first Bugatti. I reckon this is worth at least $2 million, and it's all mine. <laughs> okay, Franklin, let's get the next one, because I heard there's a couple of rich people in town, and each one of them own a Bugatti. This is the biggest house in Los Santos. They own a lot of supercars, but I'm looking for one specific car. <laughs> you guys know what it is, right? A Bugatti. I thought he'd say know which one is gonna be, but wait a minute. I think I can see it. Oh my days. If this is the one I'm thinking of, then this must be one of the most expensive Bugattis in GTA 5. No way. <laughs> Guys, check it out. Welcome to the prototype. Only one of these exists. My name is literally on it. I mean, come on. I gotta take this car now. All right, can we jump in? Are the keys in there? Is it gonna work for me? Get in, Franklin. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the name is so long. It's the Bugatti Formula One Vision Gran Turismo. <laughs> and when we close down the windscreen, bring up the vents, light up the engine. And are you ready to take this for a spin? Let's go. <laughs> now I gotta very carefully get out of here without damaging this car. This has to be the rarest Bugatti in the world. And I can't believe I'm driving it. The spoiler is huge. The wheels are huge. I love the mud flaps, the vents. And believe it or not, I had this car built the other day by a very talented team of modders. I'll leave a link to them in the description below if you want to check them out. It literally took them a month to get this thing ready. There's a dual engine around the back, LED light strips everywhere, extremely powerful exhaust, and an engine like no other. And have I even shown you how fast this thing goes? Let's take it for a little spin because this is meant for racing. The prototype was literally drawn up and I'm pretty sure this is the fastest we're ever going to go in this video. <laughs> At least I hope it is. I mean, what are the Bugattis are out there. Guess we'll find out soon enough because I've already arrived home. <laughs> and I think I'll leave this one right next to my 4x4 Bugatti uh, Chiron, of course. All right, chop chop, buddy. Let's get moving. There's another rich guy I want to take a Bugatti from, and this person doesn't actually live that far away. Oh, no. Someone's guarding it. You can't come in. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm coming in anyway. Screw you. <laughs> go, 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 go. This place has literally the longest driveway ever. Come on. Ugh, man, why isn't this bike a Bugatti? It's so slow. Jeez, almost. Oh, phew, that was crazy. That's a very steep drive, but it's worth it because we are about to see one of the most expensive houses in GTA. <laughs> Check it out. They got a basketball court, lots of garage space, but I'm looking for something specific because rumor has it they own a Bugatti. Even the garage looks empty. <gasps> Wait, huh? That's... That looks pretty old. That's kind of strange. What in the world? This is a Bugatti 35. I'm pretty sure it's from 1935. Built for racing? Oh my days. 
this. This is almost 100 years old. Well, it's got to be worth a fair bit of money if it's 100 years old, but this isn't exactly what I was expecting. It looks good, though. Pretty much mint condition. He's already got a Bugatti poster on the wall. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess it makes sense. He would own an antique like this. Wait, I think I can drive it through his house. Oh, you know I got to do that. This car is so small. I can go literally anywhere. Coming through. Coming through, buddy. I just borrowed you Bugatti for the day. This is a really nice place. Wow. Anyway, I'll leave you in peace. I'll be getting out of here. <laughs> Let's go. So, it's not the exact car I was expecting to find, but it's still really impressive. What's the porn like? Oh, jeez. That's old. That's real classic. Man. Well, I don't exactly know how much this will cost, but I guess it really comes down to how much someone's gonna pay for it. Hey, coming through. Bam. <laughs> you should have looked behind you, my friend. You are the worst security guard ever. I love all the stickers and the livery and everything on this. This is a real classic. There's not a lot going on in the front. We got all the necessities, and the steering wheel's pretty thin and basic, but I'm really happy with this. Let's get this home. Fingers crossed we find something a little bit more modern next. This looks so weak compared to the other other guys. <laughs> I mean, think about it. In 1935, I bet this was the nicest car you could buy. And now there's this, which <laughs> technically shouldn't even exist right now. I don't know what's going on, but the police are here and they're staking this place out. What in the world is happening right now? I was told the next car would be over here anyway, and I'm pretty sure it is because there's loads of people taking photos. Are you taking photos of the police? What's the situation right now? Are you just taking photos of each other? I'll leave you guys to it. Okay, let's see. What have we got around here? Wow, these cars are nice. Whoa, look at that one. <laughs> Is that the Bugatti we're after? I mean, I don't exactly see any logos on that. No, I'm pretty sure that's... Yep, that's Truffe. That's a Z-Dive. Okay, we're looking for a Bugatti, though, remember, Franklin. Don't leave until we find it. Hang on a second. Michael, is that you? What have you done to your hair? <laughs> you got brown hair now? Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think that suits your body. But every man to themselves, I guess. If you like it, that's all that matters. Now, where's my Bugatti? Bugatti. Bugatti. Where is it? Come on. I just want to find the guy. Oh, wait a second. I think I found it. This is beautiful. That's the logo, and they got bodyguards, too. Well, those guys don't scare me. Mind if I come through? Thank you. Whoop, wrong guy. Sorry. I was actually going for the bodyguard. No, get the bodyguard, Franklin. Oh, fine. You know what? Whatever. Just, yeah, get this guy. I didn't even mean to go after you. Come on. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Man, this guy's strong. I love how no one's reacted to that. Okay. Well, I'll just be taking this Bugatti. Thank you. And instead of going forward... No, I don't really want to do that. Let's go backward instead. I'm just going to go straight through this. <laughs> Yeet. Oh, dear. Yeah, we got a few scratches on this, but that's all right, because this is a Bugatti Belight. <laughs> and let me tell you, this is one of the best Bugattis on the market. I don't even know if this thing is out yet, but a couple of them exist, and they're one of the fastest Bugattis in the world. I love the vent on the top, the vents on the hood. I love the paint job. I'm pretty sure this was a random prototype design, too, until someone was crazy enough to actually make it. There's a racing steering wheel. We're comfortably doing 100 miles an hour, and we can control this like it's nothing. I mean, the wheels on this thing are so thick. They ain't gonna be wearing out on this road. Man, they're like twice the thickness. This is crazy. <laughs> and with a spoiler fixed on, no matter how much wind goes past this, it ain't picking up this car. I remember collecting every Lamborghini in GTA 5. It was like many months ago, and although I enjoyed that video, I don't think any of those Lamborghinis compare to the style of the Bugattis. <laughs> I mean, I've only collected four of them, and each one just look beautiful. You really can't go wrong, especially with any of these. I'll be happy with any of them. Can you imagine living in this house? They have their own security box next to the front drive, but uh, I won't be needing that because we're breaking straight in. And I'm pretty sure I saw a club down there. Wait a minute. I, I want to see what's down there in that window. I saw some really good lights. Right, jump over this hedge. Let's take a little look down. Oh my days. Are you kidding? This guy has a basketball court too? What? <laughs> I'm so jealous. Franklin, when we're done, we're selling all of these Bugattis and buying a house like this. I'm a little bit disappointed with how many cars this person has. I mean, if you're living in a house this big, you need to fill a driveway. I mean, this place is empty. Maybe we'll get better luck in uh, the garage. All right, slowly, gently, quietly does it. <laughs> he has no idea I'm here. He could be in the office right now, but... What is that? Bro, guys, I have found the next Bugatti, and it's a Lego Bugatti. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 
We found a Lego Bugatti. No way. It's a Chiron. Nice. Okay, they're pretty good cars. Does this thing even drive? I don't want to believe it does. I mean, what kind of Lego car drives? You'd have to put an engine in this. It would melt the plastic. Oh, man. They locked the door. I need to get the key. All right, that's it. We're breaking in. I'm finding the owner, and I'm taking the key. I don't care what I have to do. I'm getting the key. Hello, is there anybody in? Wait a second. I can hear someone. They're playing the bongos. There he is. Do, 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 do. Quietly, 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 and get him. Bam. <laughs> I'll be taking the key, thank you. No, stay down. I need the key. All I need is the key, okay? That's all I need. Thank you very much. I've got the key. <laughs> Man, this place is beautiful. We can dream, Franklin. We can dream. Anyway, back to the Lego car because we are about to start some business. <laughs> With the best Bugatti in the world. I can't believe someone actually built this. I can hear it. It works. Oh, my days. It even moves. And it's fast. Do the Oh, my days. The lights work, too. That, that's a working light. <laughs> this is crazy. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think I would be driving a Lego Bugatti today. These people have way too much money. <laughs> I mean, who even thinks of this? What's the inside like on this thing? It's a one-seater. I love... <laughs> I love how they're stickers. I don't actually believe they work. No, they don't. They don't even move. They're just stickers. That's amazing. So I can't see how fast I'm going. I can't even see if my engine needs oil or if my battery is dead. It's not exactly the safest car to drive. Stop, Franklin. Jeez. We almost had a big accident there, buddy. I'm pretty sure the exhaust is a sticker as well. Is that even safe? That's a sticker. There's nothing coming. Wait, there is smoke coming from it, but that is definitely a sticker. That doesn't go in anywhere. It has a horn. It has everything a car needs. And it sounds mean. I love this. I really do. And I'm going to take this for a jump. Because can you imagine if this thing would fall apart if we crash? Whoa, bam! No, it's it's indestructible. It is indestructible. I don't think anything, nothing fell off this. How is that even possible? They must have used some pretty strong glue. Alrighty then, I'll be leaving you right here. And to think there's even more to find. I've gone all the way to Polito Bay. Literally miles from Los Santos. But the sheriff department... Uh -huh. Hiding a little secret from us. Let's find out. Is this open? Yep, it's open. All right, careful now. These guys mean business. Can we see anything? Wait, I think I can. That. <laughs> It's a police Bugatti. Of course it is. That looks amazing. That looks incredible. And it's gonna be mine. Is that guy taking photos of it? He actually is. No way. He's gonna be so annoyed when I take this. Hey, buddy. Mind if I take it? Bam. Thanks. Oh, jeez. They were happy about that. Get in. Get in. Oh, my days. Go, 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 go. Okay. So they really didn't like that at all. I mean, all I did was give him a little nudge. It was hardly anything too bad. Okay. Put the sirens on. Let's go, go, go. I can already tell why the police own this. I'm pretty sure they did some modifications already. The insides are pretty basic. I've already maxed out the speed and the revs. <laughs> but I'll forgive him for all the minor details because this is the fastest Bugatti ever. There's an automatic spoiler on the back. Bet you couldn't tell that existed. It's just up. <laughs> the whole time we're going that fast. There is no way these guys are gonna catch me, especially after what I'm about to do now. Let's go. Yeet! <laughs> Oh, straight over the mountains. Oh my days, dude. I must have jumped like 50 miles. And we landed it. Amazing. Let's just go up here onto this random road. Good luck finding me now. Yeah, those guys have already lost me. That was the craziest jump ever. Am I in someone's garden? How did I get here, dude? All right, just get back down to the road. This is a crazy Bugatti. I am so impressed. The police force have done a real good job on this. How can this video get any better than this? I mean, it feels like every single car is just better and better and better. There has to be a limit, right? I mean, we're gonna find one bad car, surely. <laughs> Come on. This just feels too good to be true. And next up, we're going to Simeon's store. This guy always has a car. <laughs> I wonder which one he's got this time. Uh, okay. That doesn't look like Bugatti. I remember. What in the world is this? This is the first Bugatti I sell to you for 50 million bucks. 50 million dollars? That's the first Bugatti. Well, well, that explains why it looks so royal. Man. Okay, careful now, Franklin. We're gonna take down Simeon. Bonk! Sorry, buddy. You gotta go. And we're gonna get this guy as well. You're not buying it. Oh, my days. Get Simeon. Bam! <laughs> is he down? Are you gonna stay down? Get him again! Bam! <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me take this car. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna get in. See you, Simeon. Thank you very much. Oh, he's not happy about that. Yo, stop shooting, Simeon. This is the first Bugatti. How dare you? This is a $50 million car. So this comes from the year 1927, when Bugatti got the knack of making nice cars. It's the Bugatti Royale, and someone decided to make this gold, which I'm not complaining about. That looks even better. It's not very fast. It feels extremely heavy, and I have no idea how Simeon got this. And wait, I'm driving on the different side which we're meant to drive on. Is this meant for, like, England or something? <laughs> this is amazing! I think I believe in you right over here, next to the police car. All right, we'll block off the road, actually. That's a great idea. What have we got here? Oh, I don't recognize this place. It must be new. Let's look in the garage and see if we can find anything. Oh, there's something in there. And to my surprise, it's a Bugatti. What kind of Bugatti is this? It's the Cento DSC. I'm pretty sure it's one of the new versions as well. <laughs> okay, jump in. I want to see what this actually is like. Is that a holographic? Wait a second. It's got a holographic display under the door? How do you do that? What? I love that. That's amazing. Let's get this out of the garage, though, and take this for a little spin. Uh, you know what I'm thinking? I might just go on the beach with this. Let's see how it goes on the sand. Whoa, hey, what's that? Huh? I don't recognize that boat. Hey, wait, is that another Bugatti? I remember finding a Lamborghini boat before. No way is there a Bugatti boat. Why would they make one of those? They literally only make cars. Let's take a look at this thing, because it looks stylish and expensive. Is there a Bugatti logo anywhere? Oh my days. It is. It's it's a Bugatti boat. I have found a Bugatti boat. It's the widest thing ever. You could fit so many people in here. Man, never in a million years would I have expected to have found a Bugatti boat. This is amazing. I love the design at the front, the finish on this. I wonder if there's a bed under here as well. I mean, that's a lot of empty space in this thing. It's pretty fast. It's very bulky. You know what? I think they could do a little bit better with this. But overall, I am so impressed with the design. And I'm gonna leave this on the beach for later, because last thing I want to do is watch this thing float away into the ocean. I'll be back for you. You're amazing. But right now, I want to focus on this car, the Centro DSC. They're so easy to recognize because they have these five different vents on the side. And let's not forget, they're super fast and look beautiful as well. <laughs> and driving on sand is easy peasy. Uh-oh, we got some people coming up. Hey, watch out, guys. I'm driving here. What are you doing? All right, maybe we should get back on the road <laughs> just in case the police see anything. It's not that often you come across many Bugattis where they try and design it to look a little bit like a sports car rather than a supercar. Because when you're making a Bugatti, you're making the best car in the world, okay? And right about now, after a minute of driving, I'm able to see exactly how fast this can go. And it's, it's pretty fast, not the fastest. Man, look at these. Three, six, eight. I've got eight different cars and a boat. Never thought I would find a boat today. So this next one is a little bit more hidden away, but I know exactly where you can find it. Through this garage and down this tunnel. <laughs> Do you have any idea this existed? Because I only just discovered it today. Ooh. Okay, I mean, this could be the last day on Earth for us, Franklin, or we're about to find the best Bugatti in the world. <laughs> Let's hope it's the second one. It's the second one. It's the second one. I can see it. It's right there. <laughs> Check it out. This is the most expensive modern Bugatti on the market. The LA Voiture Noir. Rumor has it, it's the fastest Bugatti money can buy. I don't know if that's true, given some of the ones we've driven today. <laughs> it hasn't even got a name. Man, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Leather seats, crazy engine around the back. I just love the design of this too. It's unlike any other Bugatti. How is this under low sandals? How have I only just seen this? This is, okay, this is the best place to be driving a Bugatti. I can go as fast as I want. I'm not disturbing anyone and we're secure. <laughs> Ain't no one crashing into us. Ain't no one trying to take this thing. There's even rooms inside here. This is amazing. Let's see if we can do a couple of drifts around here. Oh yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Right, we really got to find a way out of here because there's still more Bugattis to find, believe it or not. Each one of these cars looks so different. How have they done this? This is looking pretty empty for a lovely day. I mean, this is the Diamond Resort. At, well, at least on the bright side, our Bugatti is parked up right here. <laughs> the only car in the car park is the EB110. And this is another Super Sport. Maybe one of the first they made. Who knows? You can kind of see how this inspired the other one with the five bands. Maybe not the back bumper. But I don't know what year this 
came from. All I know is that it's a classic, it's a super sport, and let's see how fast this even drives. Wait, is that is that automatic, that spoiler? Nope, not automatic, fixed on. This is sort of like a James Bond car. Can you imagine this, driving around the streets? I definitely can. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if this transformed into a submarine either. It picks up quite a speed, it's nice and fast, but we definitely found better. Let's move on to the next one. This could be the moment where things begin to turn. <laughs> Suddenly the next Bugatti just do not even compare to what we've already found. I mean, that's still really nice. It could be your favorite car. Actually, I want to know which one is. Let me know in the comments which car is your favorite. Michael, what are you hiding in your house? No way have you got a Bugatti. Let's take a look. Uh, I mean, I saw him earlier today with his new hairstyle and everything, but is this guy hiding something too? Ah, oh, man, his garage door is locked. Of course it is. Can we see anything from there, Franklin? Oh my days. Wait a second. I think he's got one. Are you kidding me? How did you get a Bugatti, Michael? Oh man, this guy's got the stickiest fingers ever. He can get his hands on anything. All right, let's see if I can find a way in. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, open the door. Fine, he's not opening the door. We gotta find another way in. That's so annoying, man. If only Jimmy would open the door. Come on. Looks like we'll have to climb this instead. And do the good old classic Franklin's through the bathroom window. Now let's get our hands on this beast. Man, he's even got one of those boxes on the top for his, like, luggage and stuff. It's Bugatti Devo. This is so nice. And now it's mine. I'm sure he won't mind the trade. I did give him my car after all. But if my car's disappeared. Okay, well, you don't get a car at all, buddy. This is now mine. <laughs> and you can forget taking my old one. So the inside's quite nice. It's nice and sleek and clean. Yep, let's focus on the driving and not the inside. <laughs> Eyes on the road, Franklin. Eyes on the road. It's pretty heavy. Heavy. Acceleration isn't as fast. I mean, I remember driving the police Bugatti and that thing was zooming down the road. But if you want to go on a nice holiday, you know, take some things with you, this is the car to have. You know what? I'm kind of glad we got this thing because I can't see myself fitting much in any of the other cars we got. <laughs> there's like no space in any of them. Okay, I think I'll leave this one right here. And believe it or not, there's only one car left to find. Are you ready to get it? I have no idea what it's going to be. I just really hope it's a good one. We've gone to the stunt jumps for this. I mean, what kind of car would be on this? Wait, I think I can see it. <laughs> no way. Is this what I think it is? It's right over this hill. I'm pretty sure I saw like a monster Bugatti. <laughs> If I really saw one of those, yo, I did. That's insane. Guys, that's a Bugatti Veyron, and it's about to be mine. Hey, buddy, where do you think you're going? That's my car. I demand you get out now. Take him out, Franklin. Whoops, sorry about that. Did not mean to do that, buddy. I mean, I did tell you to get out of the car. Right, how do we get in? Okay, climb up, push him out. Thanks, man, you've been great. And let's take this for a spin. I just did a flip. Whoa, 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 and another flip as well. This is so springy. Okay, this is the most most amazing Bugatti I have found so far. It's so much fun to drive when you can actually drive it, of course. This is the classic Bugatti, the Veyron, the one everyone knows. And someone decided to monstify this and put huge tires on this thing. Lift it up and take it on a dirt track. You know what? Kudos to them. They've done a really good job. And that is the entire car collection. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Man, this is so hard to pick. I mean, I really like the Lego one. I love the concept one. I love the first one and even the monster one. I love all of them. Let me know in the comments your favorite and take a guess at how much all of these are worth because we're about to find out in three, two, one. What? More than a trillion dollars. <laughs> Okay, we got some real classics in this. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Smash like if you enjoyed. Help us get to 7 million subscribers. My name is Nord, and from me and Franklin, we'll see you guys next time.